My name is Zan Ta, and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk Certified Instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you finish watching it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the split face command in Revit. Here I am in a standard architectural Revit project. When we're working with the split face command, it that allows you to take a look at the face of an object and cut it up, if you will, to put materials to it. Here we have a standard generic 8 inch basic wall. <clears throat> if we go to the modify tab of the ribbon, and go to the geometry panel, there is the split face command right here. SF is the keyboard shortcut. If I select it, it will ask me to pick the face, uh, to split it into regions, and I'll pick this face. It goes into sketch mode, and now it's asking me to draw the lines that I need to separate it. So let's just say hypothetically, I put in a nice curvy line like this. And you wanna make sure that when you do it, that you're actually splitting it end to end so that you're going to end up having two different faces. When you're finished, you hit the green check mark, and now you have the faces. The reason we set this up is so that you can use the paint command, which is located just below it. It opens up the dialog box material, and this lists all the materials you currently have in your project. You can pick whatever material that you want. So let's say, let's pick, hmm. Let's pick copper. You can go over here and you can pick the face that you want, and then that gets color. When you hit done, you're finished. If you go to shaded, you'll see what it looks like. If you go to realistic, you'll get a representation of that material. So let's go back to the paint command, pick a different material, say, I don't know, something very contrasting like uh, this yellow, and select that top face. Hit finished, done. And now I've used the split face command to physically apply two materials to that face. Now just remember when you're using the, the uh, paint command and the split face command, it's putting the material on the face of that wall, but it is not giving it any thickness, even if you switch to a fine level of detail. Okay, so that's the difference between using the split face and paint command versus let's say, using the layers within the system uh, family of the wall. What I mean by that is, here's basic wall again. If I go in here and I draw it, it looks like so. If I go to the type selector and edit the structure and insert a layer and change it to a finished layer and make it a material that I want, say wood, with a surface pattern, Action, let's go model, surface pattern. Let's do this one for now. And give it a thickness, say, I don't know, two inches thick. You'll notice in the preview window, you'll actually have a thickness of the layer of that material. And so now, you see there's a thickness, extra thickness here. Whereas with the split face command in the materials, you don't have that. Okay? And that's it. That's the uh, screencast uh, quick tutorial on the split face command and in conjunction the paint command. I hope you enjoyed the screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.